Guys, welcome back. Today we are shooting a match that's completely outside of my wheelhouse. An African Hunting Rifle Association match. No wind meters, no range finders, no support bags, no bipod. Hopefully a lot of luck, because I'm not going to be very good at this, so it's going to be very challenging. We're expecting about 150 people at the match today, so that's very exciting. It's great to see a shooting sport being so healthy, and yeah, I'm very excited to, to take part. It's going to be challenging. You have to range targets using your reticle, so stick around for the journey. It's going to be cool. I'm going to go zero my rifle, and then I'll see you guys at the next stage. Gentlemen, I'm in freaking way over my head. <laughs> okay. So yeah, so in the knell of stand position, can you have a parallax in the of the club delta so long as you take it? Just wrapped up shooting this stage. We got Martin shooting at the back here still with the muzzle brake, just, just to save everyone's eyes. But, uh, I don't know, I kind of dialed and was hoping the target's at about 260 meters. We haven't gone up to see how the shooting was. I did find it challenging to get the h 26 low enough because the rules is the rifle can't touch the ground, but the sort of vertical grip was digging into the ground a little bit, so that was, I had to sort of finger tripod it. But uh, I got very nervous, and I haven't gotten nervous for shooting of this in a long time. So we'll see what it looks like. Guys, thanks for tuning into this video. Next time you're in the market for precision shooting gear or hunting gear, head on over to mdttech.com and please consider supporting the sponsors of our channel to make videos like this one possible. Oops, sorry. <laughs> okay, so the whole thing was not to get any minuses, but we got two minuses on the first day. So. Semi okay. Not great, not great. Absolutely horrific. Oops. For me, the overarching theme of this event was the sheer amount of kids and ladies shooting in this format. It was super cool to see. I've shot so many different types of matches in my career in sports shooting, and I've never seen this before. It's amazing to see the kids learning the skills at such a young age, and it's really something I wish I started doing when I was their age. Um, ek het nou onlangs eerst my verdrie geskiet en die laaste 6 maanden het ek oor gegaan na 6mm kreer maar toe. Um, meeste gewilde punt, soos ek wil allemaal luister, is my 108 rein ELDM. Um, so ver, baan nummer 3, die, um, die langer gangs wat jy maar met die, die repot saak staan en skiet. Um, maar ja, my gewilde leepposities is maar om te leen skiet. Um, ja, jy kan of een goeie dag of een slechte dag hee. Ek maak jy saak hoe goed jy is kut is nie, die omstandighede verskil so. Ek het as kind self by ons op die plaas begin jag en toe af en toe, ja, een of twee keer jaar skiet jy maar paar wake en later aan van 2015 af het ek meer by die competities begin skiet, maar het is maak net een of twee competities in die jaar omdat ek meestal by die werk is en net af en toe vir die lekker daarvan net weg kom en een bietje gaan skiet. Hallo. 
I shoot a 6.5 Creedmoor shooting 139 Grang Lapua Sino at about 2750 feet per second. I would definitely say the nerves definitely get to one but I think the biggest problem or not the, the biggest um, hurdle to overcome today is definitely the wind. I would say just start, arrive here with a rifle, go ahead, muck and drick and just go for it and then you pick up tips as you go along. So I grew up around rifles, we are farmers just outside Beaufort West but competitive shooting I've only been doing for two years and literally impact shooting got me started. shooting at five um my dad took me on a hunting trip and i like said like wow i really enjoyed it so that's how i started shooting and it's really fun i would say it is going to be really hard in the beginning you will be struggling it's not easy it will be difficult but i would say the main goal is never give up and keep on going and you will succeed i shoot with a um six millimeter crit more i think I like growing into it, like it's not just about the sport, yeah I can shoot on a target toe. I think it's also like growing personally, emotionally. Sometimes you will do good and sometimes you have bad days. Like now I didn't do great but I'm just keep on going and never give up. So I see um, like you're also growing into it. So yeah. Okay, so this is the next stage. The theory here is that you have to shoot these sort of uh, elastic sticks. What's interesting is in this type of shooting we can actually build up positions for the stage. So that's cool. Um, whether that's going to help or not is another story. I think it's 1.5 mil for elevate. It's quite windy. But I'm learning a lot of tricks of how the guys are arranging the stuff, how they're measuring the wind, using different units. Calculating it off Sherlock, it's very interesting. So I'm definitely not doing as well as I hoped I would do, but I'm learning a hell of a lot. And I like a challenge. So we'll be back. Back to the drawing board that is. <laughs> and then try it again. And let's take. Let's go. Like I like being on the gun and then going. Like this waiting around thing is uh, it's a little bit gets makes me almost have time to get nervous. Links rock, in the rechts bus. Okay, so where do we aim here on this thing? What's the sort of game plan here? Okay, 
So this car is a little bit buggered. If you go down, you can um, go for the eye, but if you go down, it's instant minuses. Yeah. So we need to shoot a bit to the left over here on this side. Okay, so just like left of the water. Next boy. Yes. Maneuver. Then you are in his um, upper body and the head is still in a good scoring zone over there. And if you go a bit down... But you definitely want to favor like a little bit under the eye, because otherwise on the head yeah, we look yeah. down. We normally go for this part over here because it's very clear to see on the... Um, okay, the water. Yeah. And tell me, how far do you think this is? Uh, it's about 125. Okay. Okay. What caliber are you shooting? Uh, 6.5 Creek. Lacquer. Okay. <laughs> awesome. Good luck. Bye, Dan. Bye. Never mind when you're wearing your blouse. Um. Well, it's This is gonna be interesting. <laughs> <laughs> okay. So we have to sit and shoot. We're shooting a paper target at 110-ish meters, and I'm gonna have to fold myself into to try and get the okay. stable position. So it'll be very interesting to see how we do. Ready? This is very difficult, boys. It is foul, boy. Look. Twenty. <laughs> it's very, very, very difficult. Goodness gracious. <laughs> I think it's going to happen. So I'm going to look. Okay, nice. If you're enjoying the video, please consider subscribing and hitting the like button. Also, leave us a comment if you will. It really does help out the channel a ton. Make sure you have that notification bell turned on so we can circumvent the algorithm that is hiding these awesome videos from you. No minuses. <laughs> Okay, so that's my best stage by far. I didn't get any minuses. So basically didn't miss, but so I got 120 and the perfect score was 150.5. So I got 120.3, which apparently is good considering it's like kind of my first time doing this. But you know, seeing the groups that the other guys are shooting from the same position, my group suck. So we have a lot of work to do, but it's by cool. So I just shot the stage behind us here, made a bit of a mistake. I wrote my dope out of sequence, or what I thought was the distances, dialed for the second shot, which I shouldn't have dialed because the target's sort of at the same distance. Shot over it like a chop. It was reasonably stable, it was like this position off a gate. I used my sling as sort of a front support bag, ow. And uh, still got a two out of five, which is usually not what we get when we shoot steel, but it is what it is. And some of the very good guys got a two. But he said he was unstable. I got a two and I was stable. So that, yeah, clearly speaks to my current level of skill. But uh, very cool. So we'll show you guys what the stage looked like. My brother was all filming something else, so we missed that. Yeah. 
I am shooting at triple two fifty. Um, I started shooting when I was 13 and I'm 18 years old now. Um, my uncle started shooting before us, so he introduced us to the sport and um, yeah, he started teaching us and lending us his guns um, and then he took us to a um, hunting farm and yeah, I shot my first springbok when I was 13. <laughs> it's been a bit tough with the wind. Um, with my small calibre, um, I've been pushed around. Um, but. At the end, it's starting to get a bit better. Okay, so our last stage of the day, five different positions. We'll have a shoot on every stage, and then you'll shoot your shot, then move. And so let me show you. So these sticks we've kind of done today already. This is going to be exceptionally difficult. A one single stick thing. Then these sort of shooting sticks we've done today. Then <laughs> this is going to be challenging. Uh, no support bag. It's that sort of awkward height. It's not quite low enough. You cannot lie down and shoot from here. And then our last position is going to be that hay bale. And we're shooting at a paper springbok at what I'm thinking is about 150 meters. So I'm kind of just going to dial four clicks on this, maybe three, and sort of aim for like this little white spot on the target and hope for the best. But honestly, I'm going to need, I, even if I shoot the perfect score, it's going to make basically zero difference for me today. Let's go. Something that has been very apparent throughout the day is that this is not a chassis game. You want to be shooting a stock here, so perhaps I should have decided for the XRS or something like that. But the HT26, as amazing as it is for hunting and for you know sort of NRL hunter, it's not designed for this. The wind's also over 20 miles an hour now. The wind is nuts. I'm just happy we're not shooting at a mile, <laughs> and it's only like 20 rand a pop versus 50 rand a pop. So happy days. Nice money. Seeing that you don't have to follow up, you might as well just free recoil. 15 but seconds! I just, I just, I just, <laughs> 10 seconds! Boy, I'm safe! Puzzle up! Next station! I was seeing more stables than what I was the whole day. You may get into position. Good 
You tell it, load your firearm with one round. 30 seconds on target, stand by. Now the problem stopped. Get into position! You let me sure? Yeah. Anyway, you are as long as it's on you. 15 seconds, get into position! Wait for me. Alright. Damn it, I almost made it a range without no, getting fucked up. 15 seconds! Why is actually any bad? 10 seconds! 5, 4, 3, 2, Firearm safe! Firearm safe! I think this might be the best range here. I stock was money, don't give it tips. Shooters! Load one round into your firearm! You have 30 seconds on target, stand by! Yay! Wait for me, please. Fifteen seconds. <laughs> you surprisingly, that went better than I thought. Was this clock? And it's my life. I'm a clock. Yes. Load your firearm into your bag. The range is safe. So we just came up to the targets and I had quite a funny thing. I went over and I was like, "Wow, I nailed it!" And then I was looking at the wrong target. And uh, yeah, didn't nail it. Didn't shoot as one of my base states, but still minus 15. And um, yeah, but it's impressive to see the groups these oaks are shooting from the same position in the same wind, literally at the same time that I'm shooting. So there's there's a lot to learn. I'm super excited about that. Um, yeah. So I'll see you guys at prize giving, uh, which we won't be getting anything unless they have a lucky draw. And uh, but yeah, it was very fun. And uh, yeah, I encourage if you're a young shooter or an old shooter or whatever you are to pull into one of these events. You know, I've seen how these guys, like Heinz specifically, and a few of the other guys, have done some NRL shoots, and um, they did phenomenally well. And what's interesting is, with, I thought that I would do semi-okay with my sort of skill set. Their skill translates to what we do way better than ours translates back to what they do. So it's interesting. Yeah, in squid and feed or it was windy and there was a lot of love dust. Not nice. <laughs> it could have gone better, but it was a fun day. Uh, we learned a lot and just had to implement it in the next shooting.